Obviously, I know you wouldn't be surprised seeing this story on this platform. Indeed, another pastor has been involved in an alleged rape situation. You don't understand what I'm saying. That anything you do after a period of time, you, it becomes a culture. Your body is used to it. Your, what you call the spirit man can be used to prayer. But you don't appear there. I realized that seeing visions doesn't mean I'm connected to Jesus. I didn't know until the few times he showed up in my room. And I said, but I thought I've been experiencing you every day. <laughs> you know, Jesus can be looking at you like this and he's saying a thousand words. Many times he does not have lips. His presence is leaping. And he's talking. And I said, oh, so I've been absent with, from you for four years. Sir, you can exist without God for four years. You can be sustained with a 1996 glory because the fading takes time. I'm going to be reading the story, of course, from the parent of a child that is allegedly being raped. And of course, the case has been to court, which of course, I think um, some situations going around the case is the reason why it's becoming a public con conversation. So I came across this on Twitter in case you don't know I'm on Twitter myself, just that if I'm on any social media platform, I'm there looking at the news just like you look at the news. And I bring it here, of course, for discussion with the community. So the father of the child or the girl who was raped made a post on Twitter. And this is what he had to say. Please, I want to draw the attention of the public to an alleged rape case. My daughter was raped by her pastor. I got to know a week ago. We are divorced, so the children stay with their mom. The case is in court, but my pain is that the alleged rape rapist was granted bail. Now, even though I decided that we are going to talk about the subject of um, a divorce as um, is something that has been a conversation recently, I think this is also one of that side effect of what happens when a divorce happens in a marriage that has children. Things like this can happen. And don't be surprised that it's the father that is speaking out publicly because when I was watching a very dark black man who brought the attention, of course, to this, I could understand his first reaction when the case was brought to him when he said it was very sensitive. Some of you who have followed me on this platform know that I've dealt with issues that have to do with, you know, things like this before, even though it's not like technically rape, but pastors themselves willingly involving themselves in rampam, adultery, fornication, whatever you call it. Of course, nobody says sins, but you see, when people that are held to a high esteem are the ones um, exploiting or capitalizing on their influence to be the ones to perpetuate this act, it becomes concerning and, of course, a topic of conversation. So, this is the father himself speaking, and he shared the, you know, the account of the said Pastor Isaac Godwin, and he's said to be not the brother, biological brother of Reno Mercury. According to the news, is more like the nephew. About to start, right? I'm going to make the case very public. You understand? Because apparently, bless you, plenty of people will get influence they inside the case. And the best way to deal with influential people is when you make everything public. When you make everything public, they don't have anywhere to run. That's how it is. Now, you see this particular case. Look at this guy. Why I'm more interested in it is because this guy is a pastor, not just a pastor, now Reno Mokri, brother. Reno Mokri, where they always come online, come they do okay, now ain't no pass, he's morally upright, blah, 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 blah. This is his brother. You understand? And according to Wither the Year, according to Wither the Year, say Reno Mokri follow, they look for a way to take die the matter. They take off the case. You understand? Now, this case, look at this post, right? This is the father of the person involved. He posted it yesterday. But before he posted it, they had reached out to me. See, on the 8th of February. You understand? They reached out to me before I went to the UK. But I gave them a term. I say, see, before I talk about this case, this case is very sensitive, right? Before I talk about this case, the woman where they involved, go don't make a video, post them. Then I'll get the video. Then I'll use it to start following up the case. Before I start now, they can't go meet you for back. They'll come tell you, can't say, eh, the very dark man acted on his own. That's so why I leave the case. Until the father can't decide to make a video by himself. So now, we are going to make it public. Because I just collected his father's number. And then we'll start following up the case. You understand? I love where this is going. Now, this man is a pastor. This is the pastor, Redo Mokri's brother. Now, let's see what he did. In 2023, my daughter was raped by 
our past law, Isaac or Mockery. This Isaac or Mockery is a stepbrother to Reno or Mockery. And this same pastor, Isaac or Mockery, has a mentor. His name is Chief Uyi Ibenedu Gibbs. Now, my daughter was 15 years old when this was <laughs> last year. I learned of the matter recently and I am crying for justice because it, it, the matter went to police and went to court but right now the matter has been compromised. They are doing everything possible to let him go free. The police have been compromised. The judges and the court have been compromised. The case that was at High Court, Dukwe, was later moved to Apu without even a notice of my ex because as of that time, she never told me. She was the one running around for the case. All I am asking for is justice for my daughter. As All right, so you heard the father of the girl, right? He said, Reno Mokri brother, you understand, who is a pastor, he fought, do forceful entry on in Peking in daughter where be 15 years old inside church. You understand? Only God know what he make and do him inside church. You know how this pastor they be. If he be saying one do ugume. But that's by the way. Now he said that Reno Mokri brother Polashan inside Polashan 15 year old daughter inside church. You understand? So according to him, he just found out. But meanwhile, they have already sent me a voice note on the eight. But I decided not talk about it because it is it is sensitive and the woman was not willing to come forward. But now when the father don't come forward, we'll do yes, it publicly. It's more like a family thing. Now, I'm not surprised this is not like um, a big news, big news per se, because whether you like it or not, with someone I see with this kind of social media following, he's being painted to be like a renowned pastor or something. You know, with the way we talk about those who are renowned or not renowned is based on how much following, how much influence. Like, this would not get that much of heat as a conversation on the internet like how you would get like the big names like last time we were looking at uh, uh, Coconut Apostle or maybe Apostle Nakademos or maybe any other quote and unquote like Pastor Christ or you know you, you know things that have happened in the past when it comes to conversations on the platform so when you look at this as well it, it begins to make a whole lot of sense that um, this right here might be getting that wide attention because this um, pastor may not be like that much of like you know a big hit i would say but again whether it's a small pastor or a big pastor or someone that is influential i think it's it's something that is looking at the image of christianity so as a subject but aside looking at this as a christian factor i think it's also a human problem whereby those who are of influence sometimes can exert that influence when it comes to how they deal with their subject. Remember the story of um remember the story of the recent pastor um that is um being sentenced? Um quite controversial, but again, the law is the law. Of course, sometimes as well the law can get to play in certain certain dynamics you would not expect when you look at the subject involved, just like we are looking at the person of Bobrisky and Naira mutilation and you'll be asking yourself, does what he did or did does what he had done warrant him to be you know, locked up for six months and all that? Or is he being used as an escape good for that particular situation? If EFCC could be posting things like this, of course, probably someone had to be exemplified and the law or the system chose someone very influential. But that's not a subject of conversation today. Let's look at what he also gets to say as well moving forward. He says right here, this is because he is connected to he, a nephew of his who is Reno Mokri and then his father or mom was a judge. You understand? This dog told my daughter not to tell anyone. And this is where it gets more interesting. If she doesn't, she will suffer from kidney failure. If she does tell anyone, she will suffer from kidney failure. My daughter trusted him because he was her pastor. And that is where the situation itself is. Uh, with the conversations we have had on this platform, like some of you hate me with passion when I talk about things that happen in church, but of course you're still watching me, that's a fact. The influence your pastors have over you can never be overemphasized because you trust them so much in what they say, what they do, that sometimes even when they are 
little secret and pass case to come out as, as a public conversation you will be the one defending but have you ever pictured yourself as being the subject of conversation whereby you are the victim think about that and i'm just asking myself a question of course the mother is not one who is out in the public if you watch the video of very dark black man when he was talking about it um the mother was in an audio conversation this is what the mother said sensitive and the woman was not willing to come forward but now when the father don't come forward we'll do it publicly now see the voice note they sent to me on the eight yeah so madam madam please Yes. Can, do you yes. please um very dark man asked me to confirm from you do you have any evidence i have this the pastor's confessional statement that he made in church because they made him to go and do the confession in church i have the, the confession i can send to you okay you record it back yes it was recorded okay please forward it to me okay continue and for this now, then my daughter is also available to give her own uh, ordeal of what happened. Okay. Then when we went to the police station, because when the thing happened in Shaliba, uh, he got her the virgin on the 22nd of February, 2023. He said that she should not let me know or anybody otherwise that she's going to die of kidney failure and she'll start leaving her family members one after the other on the 26th of February. so the person that brought everything to me is one of my friends you understand so it so that means the issue was going on with the mother and the daughter and now the father is stepping in to cry out you understand even though he's divorced from the mom but of course this is his daughter in the picture if the father was in the life of that particular daughter with the mother do you think this would have happened but maybe the pastor might be looking at it as an opportunity to capitalize on the gullibility of the mother and also the daughter and with there not being a father figure that's where a father figure plays a very important role in the life of a child to a great extent and of course not all fathers could be the perfect father but there's this particular influence that a father figure has in a family that you know certain things like this may not happen i'm not saying that if the father was in the life of a daughter that this would not have happened but i'm just giving an example you understand and this is also one side effect of um, divorce i'm just saying but moving further as well he says here his name is isaac omokri the nature center church and um, from the his account he posted is isaac godwin so maybe your mercury is involved somewhere or the other or probably he's trying to look at the relevance by association factor we always talk about here when you try to associate to establish you understand so him establishing a case and very dark black man looking at reno mercury with his person the table shaker would he be shaking the table this time around that it involves someone that is related to him now reno mercury hasn't come out to say if this actually involves him you know if, if if he's connected with the person in any way but it's alleged that he is connected to Renault Mercury based on the family ties but we don't know because Renault Mercury despite him being tagged of course several to this he hasn't responded like he would even respond to a comment with an entire post just like Daddy Freeze does on his platform moving on also right here he says here I went to the venue of a church but learned it was closed because of the case so the church was closed because of the case come on if he was that much of a renowned big mega pastor would you think the church itself would be closed because of a case like this i guess not so i think it's just more like a not that much of a big church but a church that is working but again you'll be asking yourself a question with this particular subject of rape think about it what what is it with pastors and this this sexuality as well you know young girls kids is there something diabolic with it i don't know but it's also a question you'll be asking based on examples we have seen before of things happening in the past for those who have been here with me longer moving on right he says here yeah, the daughter is seriously my daughter is seriously traumatized and dropped out of school because of that she needs justice please don't fail my daughter the father cries out so this is the video of the father talking about the case and my name is abraham daniel i want to bring to the public that my daughter was raped by her pastor. And his name is Isaac Omokri. He's a stepbrother to Isaac uh, Renu Omokri. And they have a method. 
the mentor called Chief Ibenedu gives. Now, these people are connected. I learned that uh, his father was a former judge and, mo and, he, and his mother works at the Court of Appeal. But all I want is justice. We want a Nigeria where everybody can have access to justice. He raped my daughter and molested my daughter. He was granted bail and is working freely. I don't know how many people that um, will be out there that are his victims right now. I don't care. But for now, the one that we have known, we need justice. I'm calling on all well, meaningful Nigerians to please retweet this post until it gets to the right people. Please, my daughter, deserve justice. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is... Now, indeed, the cry of a father is more like a man-face-man -man thing. And uh, I'm not going to say that this is going to be the end of situations like this happening and coming out publicly. Yes, we have looked at many of this in the past, just at this one here, an underage girl. My God. However, this is being thrown out of court or something, uh, or maybe him being granted bail. In the end, the tag is man of God and touch not the anointed, many would say. But in the case right here, we are dealing with um, a human situation. It could be anyone. It could be the biggest pastor you hold to a high esteem. It could be just anyone. But again, once you have, come on, imagine me. If I have, if my name is Pastor George, this or Apostle this, would you think some of you would have the F1 tree you have to insult me and call me names the way you call me on each post I make? You dare not because you have seen a tag on my name. But I'll, I'll, the last thing I'll do is to put a tag on my name <laughs> as if uh, God called me specially and said, oh, my son, no. I'm not, I'm not, the last thing I'll do is lie against God. I know what I'm doing here. I'm making trends make sense. Something is trending. I discuss about it of whatever whatever facet, of course, it does exist. But the attention of the masses, of course, being brought onto this and um, VDM using his platform as an activist as well to talk about this, I think it's, it, it makes quite uh, a lot of sense. And it's indeed very sensitive, I would say. Anything that has to do with uh, spirituality, man of God, the three Ps, like I always tell you, my dear friends, pastors, politicians and the police then the crowning factor here being poverty establishing itself in the line of these three p's we have talked about this many times those who have watched me many longer know that when it comes to the three p's these are like my main focus when it comes to conversations i have but either ways as well my dear friends um i just thought to bring your notice to this particular um conversation indeed whether i like it or not as well each time i look at the three p's pastors politicians the police pastors will just rep represent like the religious leaders police of course armed forces then the politicians when it comes to the government where you see a synchrony where a pastor where you see a synchrony between these three there is great power the pastor that has connections with the police and also has connections with politicians will be very powerful a politician that has connections with the police and also has connection with the religious. Have you not noticed that there are some politicians that anytime you get to see them even have public conversations most of the time, they are actually having their political discourse and conversations inside churches. You'd be asking yourself, why would a church give their podium to a politician to stand on their altar and he's talking about um, situations of the country or something? I don't know if you noticed understand the dynamics of how power and influence itself works understand that of course clearly but of course with this case what do i have to say it is not new to me it might be new to you but things are happening in churches and don't look at this as um, um you know the christian faith being uh, um uh what is it called the christian faith being brought brought to disrepute there are bad eggs everywhere it doesn't mean that there are no good eggs this on this platform of course this is where you can see this kind of conversation okay so if you are following me and we expect that you don't get to see um this kind of things and um, being discussed right here i think you are really really not sure of where you are but of course um i'm monitoring as well and seeing seeing the development of the conversation with reno mockery himself react um what is vdm going to be doing being on ground as well and trying to follow up the case if in if it indeed happened which of course if the pastor himself confessed to his members that he did this 
I think to a great extent as well. Um, if there is remorse there, if it was something that is like a mistake, like of course you would hear the devil took over me and all that. I think he should be forgiven, but that's one thing as well. The law always um, takes his course in this case, and if his influence or when I say his connection is helping him get out of the case, that is where I think um, the father here might be justified in crying out about the situation. Tell me what you think in the comments, my dear friend, and. Till I see you next time, George.